Hi there, and this is Hoo-Ha Sports Today, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. Hope you enjoyed your weekend football, especially the Premier League, more so if you're a City fan, as United dropped a couple of points. But I believe the Arsenal and Liverpool supporters are very relieved as well by their results and Chelsea fans too. Okay, let's look at the league and how the results from the weekend has affected the league standings. Well, we knew that it would be tough for United when they took on Stoke, especially without Wayne Rooney, who clearly has been instrumental to their spectacular start to the season. City, Chelsea and Newcastle stay where they are in 2nd, 3rd and 4th with wins from the weekend, as many pundits are now crediting the French-speaking players in Newcastle for their brilliant performance. Liverpool move up to 5th and look at who we have up in 6th. Come on, you Spurs! Despite holding the champions, Stoke dropped to 7th. Aston Villa's draw at Loftus Road sees them drop a couple of spots, while Rangers move up into the top half. Now that should keep new owner Tony Fernandez a little happy. Tony wasn't in the stands as he was in Singapore for the Formula 1 GP, keeping tabs on his Lotus team. Aha, I bet he was. But guess who took the Sunday afternoon off to catch the game? One Mr. David Cameron. The British Prime Minister who used to regularly visit Loftus Road is an Aston Villa fan, seen here with his son and the Mittals. But what stood out to me was that he is the British Prime Minister, sitting in the stands with his son, without the pomp, pageantry and red carpet treatment. Such a stark contrast to what happens here in Malaysia. It's best I don't elaborate, otherwise it'll be not a sports show anymore. But his Sunday enjoyment, enjoyment of seeing Villa lead for much of the game turned into shock. No thanks to that late, late Rangers equaliser, albeit an own goal by Richard Dunn, with QPR battling on till the last minute with 10 men. Great result. So how did I fare in my weekend predictions? Well, overall, it was an improvement from the first couple of predictions. I obtained half of it correctly. But what do my producers have to say about that? Oh wow, thanks guys. A reward? What is it? What the f- what's that? I guess from this point on we will have to include a uh, what the f- segment. Thanks guys. And on that bombshell, it's a wrap for today. Tomorrow we will look at our YouTube Arsenal fan, Fran Atomi, as he calls for the Gunners fans to rally behind the team. But for the time being, from the team and I, it's... Bye for now.